watching i will call you to stand up if i saw anybody sleeping and in the inaugural session i saw two three girl students sleeping <laughs> can you stand on your own who are sleeping you know who whether you are sleeping or not sleeping I, two two three girls see one more one more this side she was sitting in this last one now she is not sitting there <laughs> <laughs> Not to be seen. Same face is missing now. Okay, we appreciate. I think she's sincere. Yeah, very sincere. She was sitting on the last, but uh, third row, I think. I am right. Third row, fourth row. You are sitting in the last seat. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let us uh, start our business. If you look at uh, our food supply chain. Horticulture is part of agriculture. Other fisheries, dairy technology, veterinary, everything part of agriculture. It, when it comes to the question of supply chain and value chain, it starts with agri inputs, crop production, harvest and post harvest operations. Packaging, storage, selling, again transportation from sale point, value addition, branding, promotion, warehousing, distribution, and supported by logistics. All these forms part of. You need not write down anything from the slides. I will spare this PPT, some copy to the organizers, and at the end of the day, on fifth day, you can take it. Uh, Try to understand what I say. See the photos. Nearly 400 photos are there. Seeing is believing. I will take you across the a tour across the country. How your horticulture is there, and one photo is equivalent to thousand words. It will speak by itself. So as far as agri inputs are concerned, you can lay your hands on seed. fertilizers may be organic fertilizers business pesticides farm machinery and equipment coming to the seed at the end of the my presentation i will be giving the best example for seed entrepreneur he was uh, owner of the petrol bank he became the proprietor managing director of a seed company he addressed world seed congress where Oh, doctor and post doctor agree scientists were participating like you he addressed them he, he knows nothing about uh, formal education in agriculture or horticulture that company is mahipo seed company how when i will tell later so as you are aware our food habits are changing our agri business also will change particularly in india 74% of the indian population is less than 40 years of age the way in which they think they act they eat is entirely different from what younger generation used to eat 20 30 years back as a result the food basket of uh, indian young population uh, is moving towards high value more nutrition products not to your ragi mudde or uh, jol roti but uh, uh, pizza fruits vegetables milk meat and milk products high value more nutritious products uh, consumption is more towards these products so processing of food products and branding a certain lot of importance that you can lay your hands in the uh, post harvest supply chains anywhere agriculture have two phases two phases of the coil so basically one side of the coil is production another side is marketing 
since the green revolution period the more focus was on production side ignored post harvest uh, side of the coin as a result uh, we are facing the problem say for example logistics cold chain system is uh, very very insufficient even warehousing facilities lacks transportation is costliest affair in fact third party logistics emerging in a big way you can be a third party logistic provider say for example assume that your uh, say big bazaar or reliance in charge of uh, procurement and distribution you need to transport mangoes from srinivaspur or grapes from bijapur or onion from nasik to kolkata or delhi or uh, jaipur you need not to have your own fleet of vehicles you can hire them third party will provide you can conveniently look into this business opportunities where you can lay your hands cold chain we have lot of uh, cold storages across the country but uh, they are under utilized as per the latest survey only 45% of cold storages what we have capacity installed is being put to use and 55% is idle to quote to one live example from kolar district alone apmc had big cold storage it was uh, uh, demolished a private cold storage in kolar almost near to your uh, horticulture college converted into a hero and a hero a cold storage in apmc chintamani was uh, dismantled before uh, inauguration a cold storage in chikbalapur apmc is struggling to exist a district like kolar and chikbalapur where uh, lot of fruits and vegetables are grown is the fate of uh, this cold chain where we are lacking it it is required the cold chain not cold storage alone you can think of and our contribution to indian agriculture sorry gdp is 14% agriculture means includes horticulture fisheries veterinary everything look at uh, the transport facilities uh, very re- last year from anantapur in andhra pradesh they arranged the kisan rail to transport banana and other vegetables to delhi by train and anantapur kadpa karnool are emerging as major fruits uh, production capital of south india so they are providing lot of uh, impetus to this look at this uh, particular scene where you can think of think big and aim big a company called desai fruits from maharashtra are exporting banana from tadupatri kolvindala and kadpa from andhra pradesh by inland containers from anantapur to um, mumbai port and from there to gulf countries think whether you can become a good exporter identify the export potential of uh, major commodities from india not only from karnataka any icr students here in this group outside uh, state anybody uh, all are from karnataka one which state ha huh? rajasthan okay please say for example rajasthan gorkam gorkam uh, or what we call in karnataka gorikai seeds are extracted exported to the global market 25000 rupees per quintal of uh, gorkam seeds it is used in uh, petroleum purification process and also as mm, in the uh, gum industry uh, paint industry 25000 rupees per quintal rajasthan is number 1 in the country to export this gorkam seeds and we uh, use here in karnataka and andhra pradesh as a vegetable major vegetable so think of in kisan connectivity from different parts you can just hire bogies from indian railways tie up with uh, 
say farmers, producer companies to link to the upcountry markets. To link to the upcountry markets. For example, Nasik uh, in Maharashtra and Maharashtra as such is the biggest producer of onion. More than 50% of onion produced in this country is from Maharashtra. Particularly that market uh, Nasik and Rasalgaon. So, can you link this by cheap transport? You can think of. And providing this old reapers, linking from the production points to uh, at least dispersal point is more and more important. Even a hybrid form of transportation, road come rail, wherein the trucks can go directly to the farmer's field, pack it, uh, move to the railway uh, tracks, and they can again unload from railway, nearest railway station, go to the consumer points. You can become a service provider to this. Look at this uh, cold storage near Kushal Nagar in Kodabu district of Karnataka, where 75 to 80 percent of our coffee were exporting and they need accredited quality warehouses. So basically, it is 100% digital certified accredited warehouse. You can think of providing a chain of warehouses across the country to store whether it is dry grapes or coffee, beans. And say Chittur in Andhra Pradesh and Krishnagiri Dharmapuri in Tamil Nadu are the major producers of mango processing units. Around 60 mango processing units are there in Krishnagiri and Dharmapuri, around 45 in Chittur district. And in Karnataka, a whole state put together, not more than 5 to 10 processing units are there. Though we grow quality mango in different parts of like Ramnagar, Kola, Chikbalapur, Darwad and emerging uh, Haveri. Subsequently, at the end of my presentation, I will also give glimpses of each district, uh, what we are growing, what potential is there, how you can go, where you can uh, lay your hands uh, to compete with other states. This is uh, Jain Irrigation uh, uh, Food Processing Park is there in Jalgao. And, uh, Chittur, they have mango processing in it. They have 500 acres uh, research station in Udumalupet near Koyambatur. Uh, uh, both re research and uh, extension units are there. You can think of establishing your own uh, processing units. They have created their own brand. And you can think of creating your own brands. It is not enough you produce, but you need your own brands of uh, so here is a farmer <coughs> by name Mr. Anand Reddy who is uh, standing next to me with the phone in his hand. He is there in Whitefield in Bangalore, in the midst of software uh, uh, park. Seven acres farm, complete 100% mechanized. Even better practices than Israel. You need not go to Israel, go to his farm. It's uh, computerized. RO water is being fed and water uh, fertigation and no soil even for uh, uh, say this particularly harvesting and small uh, small uh, free cooling unit he has established hydroponics 15 liters of water uh, he grows crops uh, to the extent of almost this auditor, 15 liters recirculated. You can visit once. And more than this, he is having market linkage with Metro and almost all star hotels and for exporters. Directly they pick from his home. Integrated production and marketing linkage. And Indian farmers size of holding is very very less. And so two thirds of our farmers size of holding is very less. And the average size of holding is less than one hectare. And hardly it is difficult to uh, have economical operations. And uh, looking at the agri supply chain, you can put your hands anywhere here, including marketing. 
and 27,000 weekly shandies are there across the country. And majority of these weekly shandies, commodities bought and sold are horticulture commodities, fruits and vegetables for the local domestic uh, consumers. As it is uh, free for all, you can establish your own uh, online trading platforms to buy from small farmers. And uh, look at this APMC in Tiptor in Tumko district. First APMC in the India uh, to become digitalized, uh, the total transactions and online auctioning was introduced for uh, dry copra. You can become a uh, trader to supply the uh, copra, edible copra. Though Kerala and Tamil Nadu, they are number one in uh, copra production, mainly it is for uh, edible oil extraction. But uh, um, this is for edible copra where all of country is uh, uh, the, its market. And mainly used for sweet preparation and uh, uh, dry fruit. So basically, Think of, can any entrepreneur, one can emerge out of so many to pick up, enter yourself into the trading of uh, uh, copra, dry copra to different destinations within the country. Similarly, Arkanat, again Karnataka is number one in the country. Uh, hardly we have any uh, value added uh, products from Karnataka. They take Arkanat from Shimoga, Sirsi or Sagara, take it to Maharashtra, add value manufacture the uh, Arcanet products, bring back to Karnataka itself. So, raw material, that basically speaks of lack of entrepreneurship, uh, business uh, uh, attitude towards whatever we are producing in uh, Karnataka. In fact, Karnataka is, is like a gold mine for horticulture and agriculture. We are sleeping on gold mine. For example, Arcanet we are number one, coffee we are number one, maize we are number one, uh, say so gherkins we are number one, so many number one, uh, raw onion, so 80% of, uh, not 80% of the Indian uh, exports are from Karnataka and 100% of this raw onion is exported from Karnataka, 100%, not even 99%, nobody consumes, you can become a, a best exporter of rose onion from Karnataka, mainly grown in Chikvalapur, Kolar and Bangalore rural. In addition, in Andhra Pradesh they call it as Krishnapuram onion. So, uh, you can think of establishing retail uh, chain stores for fruits and vegetables. Maybe you have seen Namda Refresh, uh, Reliance Fresh, More, Star Bazaar and uh, Big Bazaar. Big basket online uh, delivery, digital marketing. So you can think of hybrid forum, you have ninja cart wholesale uh, uh, distribution of fruits and vegetables. As a support to the agriculture and horticulture sector, exactly almost June or July 2020, two, two years back, Government of India has come out with special economic package called Atmanipur Bharat project with 20 lakhs crores total provision and out of this for agriculture you can pick up some say business uh, uh, business proposals out of this particularly 1 lakh crores is kept apart for this agri startups and also for farmers producer companies when it comes to the question of agri startups Funding is no issue. You want N crores, bankers will be knocking your doors to lend you as long as your project proposal is feasible. So no problem for funding and no problem for technology. You want Israel technology, German technology, Japanese technology, it's ready, you pay and use the technology. What else you want? Raw material. Tomatoes are thrown to the road in Polar. Onion are um, not harvested in, uh, say, uh, Ubli. And the uh, best quality lemon from Indy, from uh, Bijapur district, is rotten because no demand. 
mainly because of lack in uh, proper planning for business. What next top production? That itself is great avenue to all of you. Lay your hands, don't go to the production side of the agriculture or horticulture. There are already farmers who are rotting to produce, struggling to produce. And what your job is, uh, you can uh, involve yourself in the supply chain and value chain, both for domestic and uh, international market. You can become as well business consultant for FAOs. In, uh, to create farm gate infrastructure, 1 lakh crores is uh, MR. You can become uh, so somebody in the inaugural session they were talking about. Farmers are relying on quacks uh, without formal education for consultancy in different crop production operations. You can become a best agri consultant, horticulture consultant. And you, for creating our, uh, farm gate infrastructure. Prepare uh, feasible projects, give it to the farmers to avail uh, subsidy and loan from concerned uh, agencies out of this farm gate infrastructure wherein 1 lakh crore is uh, reserved for this purpose. Maybe a small cold storage in the farm gate or a post harvest uh, machinery. Uh, even uh, for sericulture, of course, not part of your. Uh, and there is another 1 lakh crores exclusively reserved for a green infrastructure fund to finance the projects. Maybe uh, aggregating the farm produce, as I already indicated, average size of holding is uh, less uh, for family is like 1 hectare, and 64% of the farmers have less than 1 hectare of the land. Aggregating, pooling, collecting. Uh, such a little marketable surplus that may be your business and uh, the Suffol NDDP tried with this uh, collecting the uh, fruits and vegetables in farm gate and it is uh, big failure big failure farmers didn't cooperate in fact they have invested 300 crores on this project uh, creating collection centers in the farm gate itself as I was talking about whether it is public sector or private individual initiatives, it is 90% uh, of the startups are big failure, flap show. Less than 10% of the startups are su successful. Means their uh, business ideas are very weak or doesn't fit in well into the uh, needs of the consumer and the market. So there is a need to prepare your business plans properly and look at this uh, storage containers in uh, one of the food processing uh, park near uh, Tumkur called India Food Park near Vasant Narsapra between uh, Shira and Tumkur and it is struggling to con struggling to survive. And this particular uh, vapor heat treatment facility is in Washi Market, Mumbai, where mangoes are treated before exporting to Japan. Can you think of establishing similar units in your area anywhere, uh, assisting the exporters or you yourself can become an exporter by yourself? This banana ripening chamber come uh, cold storage, established in uh, Trichy, Trichirapalli in Tamil Nadu, where banana is ripened in a very command area. Banana ripened here, exported to the Gulf countries and also Chennai and Bangalore. 80% of the banana to Bangalore city comes from either Tamil Nadu or, or from Andhra Pradesh. And these are the facilities av available there. So you can think of encouraging somewhere near Tunubhadra command area or Hemavati command area. Uh, increasing contract farming through uh, banana, establishing this farm gate infrastructure, utilizing this Atmanirbhar uh, 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 provision by government of India. And government also gives some subsidy for transportation. Look at this initiative uh, from Maharashtra, again uh, in and around Jalgaon. 
banana again maharashtra is one of the biggest uh, producer of banana uh, supplying to the majority of the north indian markets and transport cost is the highest cost and uh, indian railways opened up leasing of the uh, goods train and you can hire the bogies somebody out of you can become an entrepreneur uh, consolidate the supply system of banana from maharashtra or uh, karnataka link to the north indian market where banana is uh, not produced in use for very very less quantity it is produced so transport cost transfer by road it assume that if it is 1 lakh rupees from bagalkot to delhi 1 lakh rupees for 14 uh, tons truck transport cost 1 lakh rupees uh, rent by train it will be 25000 uh, savings in transport itself is uh, 75000 for one truck load think of uh, finding logistics transportation solutions you can become an entrepreneur by Uh, coordinating this one this is in jalgaon uh, a small place called sauda where banana is uh, uh, loaded to the godans and sorry this uh, racks and transported to the asia's biggest market is in india in delhi or azadpur mandi goods train itself was inside the apmc yard think whether you can if not only for man sorry banana can you link uh, for grape from bijapur mango from uh, srinivaspur or uh, other chillies from nadge or guntur whatever it may be uh, this jalgaon to delhi and this is our transportation from uh, in davangere vegetables are uh, loaded on the top of the train and this is uh, i was talking about uh, srinivaspura in kolar district biggest uh, mango market in india nearly 70000 uh, acres area is under mango in that taluk alone and they consider this as uh, world famous mango land of world famous mangoes ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಪ್ರಖ್ಯಾತ ಮಾವಿನ ಹಣ್ಣಿನ ನಗರ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ವರ್ಕ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ತಾಲೂಕು ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಕುಖ್ಯಾತ ಮಾವಿನ ಹಣ್ಣಿನ ಪ್ರಖ್ಯಾತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ ನಾಟ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ ಸಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ಲಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ Uh, i will show subsequently how much they are wasting one can uh, think of establishing micro food enterprises only one mango processing unit is there in whole of kolar district in spite of so much of mango is produced why can't you can four or five members join together form a team submit a proposal establish mango processing unit pulping unit uh, capture the global market india is number one in the world and when it comes to the question of fresh mangoes there is some initiative uh, by this food processing park in inova in tech park near malur you can think of even well addition of uh, food products of horticulture crops can happen and this is uh, from uh, chintamani where well addition not horticulture crops uh, where you can think of involving yourself in uh, well addition of uh, food products and 15000 crores is meant exclusively for animal husbandry by this atmanirbhar uh, project by government of india uh, coming to the uh, other uh, activities where is this your horticulture medicinal and aromatic plants 4000 crores is kept apart by government of india to increase this medicinal aromatic plants uh, business cultivation also looking at the present status infrastructure uh, bus bay of the highway is used for threshing you can think of providing common facilities for uh, uh, threshing and uh, transportation common facilities 
in warehousing facilities, weekly shandies. This is from Srinivasapur. World famous. You call uh, Prapancha Prakyata or Prapancha Kukyata. Looking at this photo. What do you call? Prapancha Prakyata or which one do you prefer to give title to Srinivasapur? Prapancha Prakyata Mahanana Handina Nagarana Mata Adva Ida. So we are so bad in uh, post-harvest uh, handling of fruits and vegetables. Uh, rough estimates every year, one lakh crores, one lakh crores worth of fruits and vegetables are wasted in the supply chain. If you can scientifically handle, you can save a lot of money. You can earn profits. This is uh, rose onion from Chikbalapur and Bagapalli borders. It's hundred percent. Uh, exported uh, uh, commodity, 100%, not 99%. Bangalore, Red Rose, Onion. When government of India banned exports, uh, there is no domestic consumption and it is wasted like this. So my sincere advice to all of you is, you register as an exporter. Uh, basically, you should operate from Chennai and it is moving to uh, Southeast Asian nations like Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, of course, Sri Lanka cannot buy a food item, forget about the onion. Uh, previously, they, we used to export to Sri Lanka also and Gulf countries. And this is the tomato thrown on the roads near Kolar. What, what, what uh, initiative we can take out of this? Establish tomato processing unit in Kolar. Tomato pulp, tomato ketchup. Tomato pickle, initiate some project. At least link to the existing uh, market leader brands, supply the pulp. And this scene is on the roadside of Koraput in uh, Orissa. Tribals grow the best quality and uh, in best quality water without pollution. Highway marketing. From this fish is from Assam. Do not bother. Transportation. Transport solutions. Packaging material for fruits and vegetables you can think of. This is how the, now there is slight improvement. Uh, proper post harvest, harvest uh, technology and storing in the plastic container instead of uh, transporting as a heap in the tractors. You can think of directly procuring from the farmers. This particular curry leaves are being transported from uh, Umnabad in Bidar to the washi market in Mumbai on daily basis. This is how they pack. Somebody you can uh, initiate a project for proper packaging and transportation uh, through mass transport, economical transport, where the business opportunity is available. This is our uh, warehouse facilities. We call it as warehouse, so-called warehouse, um, where uh, drainage water is moving. And is, uh, that means there is a need for scientific warehousing facilities creating in different parts of the country and this is our market in Shumaga, uh, double road, Shantaveri Gopal Gauda double road. Uh, Putmat is a marketplace, uh, road divider is also a marketplace that all speaks of where you can establish small uh, retail outlets, chain of retail stores, go to type 2 cities like Shumaga, Chikmangalore, Tavangare. Hopefully, Mangalore. Uh, establish uh, a scientifically, hygienically managed small retail outlets, source from the bulk, and you can become a successful entrepreneur. This speaks of vacuum in the supply chain, scope for business opportunities. Uh, this particular mangoes, though it is from tribal area in uh, Mizoram, bordering uh, Burma, a place called Long Lane. See how they have harvested the fruits. Compare the, how the mango is harvested in Sinvaspur and uh, Mizoram. So uh, you, you can think of 
linking such produce harvested without uh, wastage and linked to the markets. By looking at this, you can really start your own business. What is that? Elaki banana. Where they have stored? You are seeing, tell me, just somebody, Tippe. You know what is there in uh, uh, that place? Human excreta, animal excreta is there, and banana is thrown here. What uh, conclusion you can draw from this? What conclusion you can draw? There is a scope for all of you to open a collection center for mango, sorry, banana. This is near Gubbi, between uh, Gubbi and Tiptore in the highway. It's so unhygienic. We eat that in Bangalore because Bangaloreans eat everything. So, so badly our logistics and supply chain are so bad. You can uh, think of scientific handling, initiate a project to create or establish collection centers in uh, Hemavati command area for such uh, collection of uh, this banana, Elaki banana, linked to the Bangalore market. You see, on the roadside, is collecting the bunches, and this is uh, in Bangalore, where three months, four months downpour will be there. Your fruits and vegetables are floating on the water, and so-called intelligent people, uh, consumers in Bangalore and coastal people eat this. See? So, <laughs> you can. Think of establishing your own retail outlets. Retailing chain stores in Mangalore would be Karwar, replacing this unhygienic handling of fruits and vegetables in Mangalore or coastal Karnataka. And of course, tobacco uh, from Munsur. Uh, tobacco board regulates this. This is uh, seen from high tech uh, production of. Uh, color capsicum, you can link to the upcountry markets and uh, uh, poly houses near Hesargatta and what is the need of the hour is not uh, the cold storages but cold chain, integrated cold chain system starting from collection point. You can become third party logistics uh, provider to the big uh, companies, your job is provide this uh, Cold storage logistics solutions. Uh, cold reaper will collect on, in the farm gate, go to the handling center, clean it, pack it, and supply to the bulk buyers and exporters. Namadare fresh exports to the Southeast Asian nations all kinds of fruits and vegetables. On this coffee drying yard, uh, you can make, establish coffee cooling unit somewhere in Hassan or uh, uh, Kushal Nagar or Chikmangalur also. Here is the most successful initiative to export the grapes from Maharashtra. Nine farmers joined together, established a, a cooperative body 25 years back itself. And they are exporting grapes to the whole of Europe, including London. All of Europe, including uh, London. And nine, uh, their brand name is Abhinava, Abhinav Grapes. So basically, uh, you can join hands with the, you are, you are sitting in the heart of grapes production, Bagalkot and Bijapur. You start your uh, journey from here. You group of uh, students join together. Why can't you can export grace from this place? Uh, similar to what they have done in uh, Maharashtra. <coughs> they have established a pack house handling unit. And uh, even this facility is, is from Washi Market, Mumbai. Uh, they are cleaning, grading, packing and exporting to uh, 
European market. Man were cleaning and grading from Inovat a food park in uh, Malur before exporting. See, cleaning, grading, packing, branding, distribution is the mantra for success in horticulture. Look at this particular onion from Chitradurga. How best they have graded. And this off-season onion, before Maharashtra floods, that is means uh, Maharashtra onion uh, reaches uh, the rest of the country. Uh, this comes during the month of August and September. Uh, Maharashtra produce comes during September, October. So my sincere advice to all of you is, uh, why can't you can uh, source onion from uh, uh, Chitradurga and uh, uh, this bulk quality is so good, very firm, you can uh, take it up to northeast of India, northeast of India, Qual uh, it will not be damaged during transportation. You can become a, a good exporter to the upcountry market like northeast India, potato from Hassan. Look at again horticulture, not real horticulture, abandoned horticulture. Nobody take up as a regular crop. It will be growing on its own in barren land, in uh, B grade, C grade forest land. The great thing our businessmen will do is, our laborers will go and collect uh, and sell it. But contrary to this, in Maharashtra, they go for full-fledged cultivation of this custard apple, uh, thin out the flowers, uh, cleanly pack it. You know what is the price of one kg of this uh, custard apple in Bangalore coming from Maharashtra? Approximately, pick. How much per kg? No reply, no voice. 200 rupees per kg. When grapes are being sold at 120, this, uh, fruits are being sold at 200 rupees. So, neglected, underutilized, unutilized, unknown, uh, but great potential. You can promote some production somewhere, anywhere in uh, Karnataka. You can become a successful entrepreneur. So, looking at unconventional fruits and potential, packaging material is very, very important in horticulture. You can establish a packaging unit. There is a separate institute in Mumbai called Indian Institute of Packaging. Like in the institute, Indian Institute of Food Processing, Indian Institute of Packaging is there in Mumbai. CFTRA is there in Mysore. <coughs> Get special uh, training. Prepare uh, our manufacturing, this packaging uh, material, depending upon the nature of the product. Look at this uh, papaya packaging. See how grading, branding they have done, packaging material. So, zero wastage. So, here vacuum is quality packaging material for perishables. This particular uh, jackfruit, uh, what you see in the roadside, is available for 5 rupees, 10 rupees for one fruit, not for kg, not here, it is too far away from this place. This uh, between, uh, in the borders of uh, Assam, Silchar and Kumbargat of uh, Tripura, Assam and Tripura borders. In the morning, our Vice Chancellor was talking about value added products in Jagdpurot. Go to Assam, go to Tripura, go to Mizoram, Establish your uh, processing unit. There is separate package by government of India. If you can establish food processing uh, units in northeastern India, you will get subsidy up to 50 percent. Lot of raw material is there. Organic turmeric, organic uh, ginger, uh, uh, black rice, uh, pineapple, abundantly available. No death for uh, raw material. What is death is entrepreneurship, businessman. You can uh, really think. go back to such southern Karnataka, Mandia district. Tender coconut is available there in the 
Maddur APMC for 10 rupees, 12 rupees. Bangalore it is 30, 35 rupees. Mumbai 60 rupees. Delhi 80 rupees. Where how much how much farmers are getting? 12 rupees, 13 rupees out of 80 rupees is less than 20 percent. What you can do? Eliminate few middlemen. Standardize your uh, logistics uh, handling. Uh, you can earn, you can also uh, make farmers to earn more. A tender coconut, biggest tender coconut market in India is in Mandur of Mandai district. Again, already indicated copra from Kiptor. This pomegranate, again, this Bijapur bagul cut is uh, famous for this. This looks very ugly. We don't feel like to buy it. But it, if you open the fruit, it is very tasty. But nobody is prepared to buy it. It's sold at 30 rupees per kg. So, moral of the case is, our eyes eats. Looking at that, we reset. Look at this. Your eyes are attracted. You are ready to pay 130 rupees for this lot. And for uh, this lot, just 30 rupees, and this is 130 rupees. So, you are preparing the product to attract the customer's love at first sight. By looking at that, you need to attract the customer, and you prepare your uh, product in a way that is attracted uh, to the customers. You can become a successful entrepreneur. And this banana from uh, Jaliga, transportation is. So, branding of farm produce, horticulture produce is very essential. Uh, Indapur, this 120 kilometers away from Pune, uh, they have branded their onion as in Indapur onion export into the Gulf countries, initiative by few en uh, entrepreneurs. You can think of such export initiative from India. And low cost onion storage. See, the onion is one of the most problematic. Onion, tomato, potato. Pot uh, potato, onion, tomato, pot, pot or top, TOP, tomato, onion, potato, top or pot is biggest uh, uh, headache to the policy makers, farmers and everybody. What you can think of, go to Chitradurga, establish some low cost uh, uh, storage units for onion. Store when the price is very, very rock bottom. Release after three months or four months. That itself is your uh, business. Uh, go for uh, low cost uh, storage units. The business opportunities are available. Mango, branding of mango. Uh, it's a Maharashtra mango. Brand was created by Maharashtra State Agriculture Marketing Board. Uh, you can think of even, you as an individual, submit a proposal to the National Horticulture Board. Bankable as per the uh, NHP uh, details. NABOD will refine us. Establish uh, this particular uh, pack house is located in Baramati of uh, Maharashtra. Uh, pack house. You can provide uh, uh, space to the farmers. Say, I will bring one truckload of uh, pomegranate to your pack house. You clean it, grade it, pack it, store it, and you can lift whenever you want it. These facilities can be provided by you. So this exporter has stored this fruit in this Maramati unit. They lift as and when export orders are uh, received. So you can become a service provider, packing material for uh, pomegranate. Uh, this Desai fruits exporters based in Maharashtra. Packing material depends, this uh, of course village level uh, uh, Banana Growers Association and uh, this rose onion uh, from Chikbalapur, this washi market in Mumbai and this uh, is a big issue where you can uh, think of uh, eliminating few middlemen and you can become uh, a direct link between producers to consumers. A scene of washi markets are not washi, uh, APMC Gultekdi in Pune. Uh, this uh, scene from Srinivaspur uh, FPMC, where mango is brought uh, without grading by farmers and traders are doing this. You can get license as a trader, you can directly buy from the farmers, 
clean it, grade it and pack it in the farm gate itself. You can send it to the upcountry markets including uh, overseas markets. Lot of money is there. Why lot of money means? 30,000, 40,000 rupees per ton of mango, best quality, Mallika or Alfonso. And in the open market, it will be one and a lakh. 30 rupees they buy per kg, sell it at 150 rupees. How much? 300 percent. Hardly farmers will get 25 percent of the consumer price. That means lot of profits are there. You can become a mango retailer or trader by directly sourcing from the this is my, uh, APMC market yard in Sinvaspur. For this uh, commission agentless market in a place called Manjira in Pune in Solapur Road where only farmers are allowed. You can establish your own market like this. Now the APMC Act is amended. You can establish your own market. Government of India will give you 35% subsidy. Just you establish on uh, pomegranate, grapes and lemon uh, market in Bagalkot or Indi or Shindi or uh, Bijapur. Otherwise, you can establish, looks like a uh, software company, not like market. You can establish such markets. Banana market uh, yard in uh, Bangalore, next to Bindi Mills in the Mysore Road. Banana comes from, 80% of banana to Bangalore comes from uh, Andhra Pradesh and uh, Tamil Nadu. You can establish a banana market yard somewhere near uh, uh, Bangalore North. Uh, at least to cater to the northern side of Bangalore. Vacuum is there. This, you need to go to the central part of Bangalore. Lot of traffic congestions are there. Highway place, somewhere in uh, Lanka, right or left. You can establish banana market, handling, bulk handling center. This is the congested uh, banana market yard in uh, Binni Pet area, Binni Mills area in Tumkur Road. Uh, this is what I have shown. This uh, with the uh, tender coconut, uh, see tender coconut uh, processed bottled, uh, 50 rupees for uh, 250 ml. Establish uh, tender coconut bottling unit in Mandur or Andhukura or Malwali or uh, uh, what is that another place? Uh, uh, Kollegal, Kollegal. This is the area where tender coconut is widely grown. Uh, you can establish a tender coconut bottling in it. Best quality uh, available for 12 rupees, 13 rupees. 80 rupees, 70 rupees in Delhi. For online trading platform, we can create. You, uh, Ninja Court, wholesale, what is very very simple uh, business model. Collect from the farmers directly in a collection point, clean it, grade it, pack it, make it available targeting bulk buyers like hostels, hotels, retail shops. Against prior order, they will lift. So, it is basically your uh, knowledge, skill and more than that, your interest that matters. Think beyond wage employment. You can uh, create employment to somebody and you can become a successful entrepreneur. You can create thousands of ninja cards, not one or two. There is a need. You, you can tie up with Amazon or uh, Flipkart. Even Badres Nature's Basket with organic products. NCDX uh, rims uh, online marketing is there. Uh, you can uh, conveniently avoid this. Uh, it's not required for you. Organic food products is one of the uh, area where you, there is good demand for that. You can think of prepare a project plan. Exclusively, even uh, there is separate agency to certify the organic products. Karnataka State Seed Certification Agency, heard of this? Uh, Karnataka State Seed Certification Agency recently have uh, authorized 
to certify the organic production at a cheaper cost. So uh, you can go for organic food products uh, certification. You can become an expert in certification of organic products. Uh, you, that here is a scope for you prepare a project proposal for organic uh, uh, food product certification and here is exclusive organic uh, research station near Mysore na, called Naganahalli. Uh, ex uh, whole farm is declared as uh, organic farm, organic farming research station near Mysore. This coffee organic certification near... Uh, and you look at uh, this potential in major uh, super bazaars, there is exclusive uh, uh, showcase for organic products. Only thing is authenticity of organic products, certification. As I already indicated, Karnataka State Seeds Education Agency is the nodal agency uh, which can certify your organic production at a cheaper cost. Uh, you can become a nodal officer, nodal businessman for this. Organic uh, food products, even big uh, badres has emerged into, entered into this business. Certification. When it comes to the question of price of organic products, it frightens consumer. Say one kg of uh, rice, organic rice, the charge 180 rupees. Fourth, so, the price of organic products, you can establish one dry grapes manufacturing unit in Bagalkot. You brand it as a Golgumbas, Golgumbas uh, dry grapes. You can capture the whole Indian market. Uh, it's with less cost, very, very less cost. Only there are three or four types of dry, sun drying, uh, chemical curing, and two more methods are there. Only thing is you need to develop a brand. Uh, you can become a successful uh, entrepreneur. So the price of organic products are very, very high. So retail price, so basically you should keep your pricing very, very rational and national certificate. Many companies are already entered into this organic business. Uh, market information, price information, across the world, you can, whole world is in your fingertips. For whatever products, whatever information, you can source from anywhere. Agmarknet is there, uh, ENAM is there, uh, Kisan call centers, uh, lot of uh, sources are there. Uh, you can source the information across the country. You can engage yourself in market information, generation and dissemination, forward integration and establishing, maintaining your branding is more more important. You may grow the best product in the absence of recognition, identity, in the form of a name. Your best quality product is neglected, not frequent, not favored, not consumed. So recognition, whether it is uh, Nagpur orange, Guntur chillies, or uh, Badgi chillies, Tiptur copra, uh, Mandya jaggery, uh, or Shivamogga arcanet, list grows. It's a brand by itself, in the, by the name of the place. So you need to brand your product, whether it's value added or generic product, or Gulbarga Thordal, or Tungabhadra command area, uh, Super fine uh, Sona Masuri uh, rice branding is more important. This palm fresh by Jai Irrigation, even uh, Mahendra and Mahendra, uh, this Scorpio uh, company is there, no? they have branded Indian apples. In fact, Australian apples are coming to India, American apples coming to India, Indian apples are going outside. This Kashmiri apples are branded as Savaro by Mahendra company and they are exporting. Branding is more important. Even Tiptur Copra is branded. And branding is such an important thing. Just you add some name, identity to the 
generic product, it will automatically it will become brand. In the absence of this uh, sticker, that is only a base. Make a jada. Brand ak dakshna sweet color. Inna sulpa mundya vabita dhan sul base vabita upu kara hake on the tea cup or lark vabitre. Ipa ta idhar pay is tea. So that is uh, brand addition is more important. So green vegetables are there are here, greens, and just sticking a pot of uh, that film star that gets branded. Otherwise, it is so, uh, no change in the quality, same product, but addition of that latest photo makes the difference. Branding is more important. So Coca-Cola gold, uh, mango was created, this brand was created, even rice uh, brands are created. Branding is very essential, this Indapur onion, so, Chitradurga onion also uh, branded as Durga onion. Maha banana, Maha anar, uh, Maha graves and uh, one more Maha mango. Four brands are known across the country and the global market. Even there are agri export zones. And in, uh, <coughs> one important thing we, everybody should know here is India have trade surplus with all countries in the world in agriculture. Agricultural products, what we are exporting to other countries is more than what we are importing. That means trade surplus. Including China. What we export is more, what we import from China. Only I am talking of agricultural products is less. India have trade surplus with all countries in the world and trade deficit in other commodities. So basically, agriculture and horticulture, whether it is lychee from Bihar, apple from Himachal Pradesh. So don't think of Karnataka alone because your hail is from Karnataka. Don't think beyond Karnataka, think of India, think of global markets, act accordingly. And fresh mango from Andhra Pradesh, uh, Jharkhand vegetables, Karnataka gherkins and flowers, Kerala horticulture produce, Madhya Pradesh potato, onion, garlic, uh, Maharashtra mango, grape, onion, flowers, and orange, Sikkim flowers, particularly orchids, uh, ginger and turmeric from Orissa. Lot of scope is there for each state. Each state is like a country, European country, more than European country. Indian states are bigger than European countries. Validation is the need of the hour. Only 6% of uh, agri produce, not only I am talking hard culture produce, is processed. Uh, Jain irrigation, food processing park is there in Jalgaon. And uh, banana ripening chamber uh, in Maharashtra, established by Maharashtra State Agriculture Marketing Board. India Food Park near Tumpur in Vasant Narsapura, struggling to exist. And the uh, Prime Minister inaugurated this. Who inaugurates is immaterial. How it is performing is important. So, because of uh, a weak supply chain, it's struggling uh, for survival. These are their brands. Uh, India Food Park. Now create this India Food Park in Osan Narsapura. They have the state-of-the-art facilities. The best technology available in Germany, Japan is here in Karnataka. But what is required is, it is not technology, it is not uh, finance, it is not raw material, but it is you as entrepreneur is more important. No death for anything except entrepreneurship. Uh, banana value added products and tomato processing and many companies have entered the Indian market. Uh, you start a simple uh, Pickling in it, create a brand. To quote an example, one of our alumni, U.S. Bangalore Agriculture Marketing degree holder, after completion of his degree, he went to his native of Shivamogga, Shiral Koppa, between uh, uh, Shivamogga and uh, Shikaripura, Shiral Koppa is there. He is Mr. Rajendra. He, create, uh, he had their family business called uh, A1 Pickles. He joined his father 
expanded the business. Now it is a leading brand in Goa and Karnataka for bulk supply to the hotels and other things. Why can't you can become? Somebody can create a pickle brand uh, which is very unique and specific to Western gods. Another midi? Sagar area. You can think of no rocket technology is involved. Very, very simple. Very less budget is enough. What you need is a brand. Create a brand. See, add some uh, salt and add some flavor. When you are targeting Andhra market, put more chilies. You are targeting coastal Karnataka, put little bit of sugar or jaggery. Or going to Maharashtra market, use different flavor. North India market. This India food pot in Vasantana Sapra. So, of course, value addition is more and more. Priya pickles. Why I am specific about Priya pickles is, uh, you are aware of uh, Ramoji Film City, ATV network. He flourished from manufacturing and selling of pickles, the Priya brand, Priya brand of pickles. So, you can start a small pickles or buy uh, chilli powder in bulk, uh, MTR is uh, Karnataka grown product, Mal similarly Mayas, uh, sub to but see branding is more more important, it's not your product that matters, advertisement and branding uh, uh, is more important and everybody uh, identifies it by its brand name and the brand endorser, ambassador, even Nandini is the best example how the branding attracts the customers. Now, as you are aware, youngsters, you are more attracted towards the junk food. Instead, uh, the health conscious uh, urban uh, middle income group like software engineers, you prepare this uh, fruit salads and <coughs> vegetable salads, <coughs> make it available in uh, say all software companies and engineering colleges. I will make it available in canteens. <coughs> this will become an innovative uh, targeting the uh, health conscious young segment of the consumers uh, where there is a demand for this. Attracting from junk foods. Just pomegranate is very tough job to open the fruit, uh, separate the uh, seeds. You get it prepared, put it in a convenient way, put some plastic uh, spoon in it, just uh, uh, target the traveling uh, uh, say customers and also software companies, engineering colleges. Futuristic in view, you can, somebody can create your, your own brand, whether it is uh, melon or uh, pomegranate uh, or any other. So, so better you create your own brand. Brand is more important. And many companies are there already in the business. Whether it is ITC or Parley or Priya Fruits, many companies are there. Uh, all big companies, once a small companies. In uh, Jagari, uh, Mahalingpura or uh, Mandya uh, or Tiptur Cobra. Create a brand of your own. Even cold pressed oil is uh, in good demand, whether it is coconut oil for consumption. Uh, of course, groundnut not in your domain. Uh, it's a coconut well added oil products. Between uh, Bubbi and uh, Tiptor, you find a lot of uh, uh, such factories. Uh, Coco pit, uh, eco friendly, substitute in the plastic. You can think of. Entering into this business for sericulture, not in your domain. I was talking about a very poor state of uh, uh, industrial entrepreneurship skills, lack of skills, and uh, entrepreneurship in Karnataka. 80% of uh, India's silk is produced in Karnataka. 
silk is moving to Tamil Nadu, Kanchi or Dharmavaram, comes back as a silk saris to Karnataka again. Silk is ours. It goes there, sari, it comes back as a sari and we pay for it. Well addition is in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Retailing you can think of this Namgari Fresh uh, retailing unit and Walmart is very big to compete. Uh, little initiative, see any group of wingsters, you go and negotiate with uh, any uh, petroleum company, sign an MOU, take some hundred petrol buns as a business partners. Sell your mango during mango season, pomegranate during uh, pomegranate season, perishable uh, fruits near the petrol bank. Pay 2 or 3 percent commission to the, uh, that petroleum company. Uh, you can become millionaire. Kota Deshwara. But a business idea is that. See, initiative think up to the last mile this is where the one of the big bazaar sales unit in raja jinagar in bangalore cuts the vegetables free of cost and hand over to the housewife who is working uh, in the government uh, office while going uh, to house she select the vegetables and they cut it you should think up to this last mile convenient to the customers How neatly they have say, arranged the mangoes in Kashi, in Uttar Pradesh, Varnasi. A mango, polar gold, sold in Bangalore. Uh, this is uh, near uh, Chelur, near Gupi. Uh, this is available in plenty. On the other hand, look at uh, Consumers, they are like you are the best example, younger generation. Your consum consumption habits are changing. There is a scope for you to encash their madness. Youngsters are mad and they encash their madness. Sell whatever they want it. Look at there's a psychological factors, personal factors, social factors, cultural factors. The, no more they eat uh, ragi mudda or jol roti. Shift to uh, some other uh, well added. So much consumers are different in their culture, language, religion, eating habits, vegetarians, non vegetarians. South, North, no more ragi mudde or akki roti. So you can cash it. What they eat, you prefer. This or previous one? Which one you prefer? This one or this one? This one. Okay. So Try to enter into the business where there is a demand for the product. And cash the emerging areas from consumer side. The way in which they dress has changed so much. And the psychologically, they are moving to a new world, including their income. The way in which they think. And coming to our exports, India agri exports in 2019 was 38.50 billion dollars. And we have surplus with every country. The major uh, commodities we are exporting are basmati rice, buffalo meat, non basmati rice, and other uh, almost all horticultural commodities. Cashew, 100% of our Indian cashew is exported. You may ask where, what we are eating. We are importing uh, from other countries and we are eating for domestic market. Indian produce is branded as product of India and we are exporting. For our domestic requirement, we are importing. So cashew, coffee, spices, example Kerala, spice garden of India. Tea, Northeast, tobacco, 
Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Fruits and vegetables, aqua products. These are the major products what we are exporting. We are exporting to European Union, ESA, Japan, Gulf countries. Share of agriculture in overall exports is around 12%. Uh, every five years, once India uh, revises its export policy, uh, this uh, <coughs> ladies' fingers ready to be uh, exported from Washi market, Mumbai, airlifted to Gulf countries. Ideal uh, trading exporters from Washi market, Mumbai. And coffee, uh, e-com. Gil India from Kushal Nagar, their exporters. And the, uh, grapes exports from uh, uh, this is traceability. 20 years back, they introduced this traceability in uh, uh, grapes. All details what, what, when they have pruned, what they have sprayed, uh, who is the owner, everything. London Super Bazaar, you go and they can trace. That's, you can become an expert in this area. Providing uh, solutions. This Maharashtra State Agriculture Marketing Board uh, providing uh, good trans uh, this packaging material. Milk was rejected for its uh, <laughs> residues, and this should not happen. And certification uh, for its uh, pesticide residues, you can uh, attach more importance. Coming to the uh, onion, rose onion exports, majority of them are stationed in Chennai. And this is one of the exporters seen it in Chennai. From growing area, it is uh, transported to Chennai, cleaned, uh, dried, graded, packed, and excise uh, certification is done and shipment is uh, uh, sent to the Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand, Gulf countries, Ross Onion. What to grow, where to grow? District wise, alphabet orders. In the state districts of Karnataka, B Bagalkot. Right now we are in Bagalkot, and B is the first uh, district. Bagalkot, grapes, pomegranate, jowar. You should establish one uh, dry grapes unit. Submit a proposal. You being from Bagalkot, you have Bagalkot, you know? College. Huh? College. College Bagalkot. Santa Guru? Ballari Bagal Kotro, the Ilinda Tabundagali, sunlight is just the sun drying muddy, Linda Grafs Tabundagi, Ballari Sun Ray Muddy, Pat Muddy, Bangalore, Kers, B, 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 Bagal Kot, Ballari, Bangalore, one B to another B. Okay, uh, you prepare one uh, process, you give her one project to prepare, uh, prepare the dry grapes unit, how much required, what grapes uh, you can submit. See, this is in your own form get. Uh, your, your unit is there next to our college, you know. Best quality uh, grabs your farm superintendent. Bangalore Rural, almost it does. Uh, Bangalore Blue grapes are there and floriculture is there in and around Bangalore, near International Airport. Dodbalapur, Oskote, Dodbalapur, uh, Devanadli and Nelmangla. Uh, Belgavi, it is for sugar cane, soya bean, green peas, horticulture, green peas. Concentrate there. Uh, okay, come to Ballari. It is chillies. Uh, though Badiki chilli is known for it, uh, Bellary, lot of scope is there for uh, chillies. Finish in, uh, in the end of the slides, the district will be there. It is uh, Soyabin, uh, Chamraj Nagar, Turmeric. Turmeric. Your hot product. Uh, banana. 
टर्मरिक कन्वर्ट चामराज नगर टर्मरिक इज द बेस्ट क्वालिटी टर्मरिक इन द कंट्री चिकवल अपर इट इज वेजिटेबल्स मैंगो रोज ऑनियन Chikmangalore, it is coffee, arcanet, cardamom, pepper, visit all horticulture crops, all of Chikmangalore. You can think of this. Chitadurga, it is onion, pomegranate. In one of the farmers' field, the onion grading is being done in Chitadurga, millets in Kalalukari. Dakshin Kanada, three nuts, arcanet, coconut, cashew nut, three nuts. In all the three districts, the farmers, North Kendra, South Kendra, Burki, uh, Arkanet, Coconut, Cashew Nut. Down uh, here it is uh, Arkanet. Narwad uh, it is uh, Chilis and Onion. Brother, Horticulture Crops, Less Coke, but uh, Mango is uh, being promoted there. Asan, Potato. Uh, coconut, coffee, pepper. Potato in the recent past reduced maize is uh, picking up, replacing potato. Uh, however, it is uh, very recently arcanet is emerging. Uh, vegetables and uh, chillies, of course, this Madigi market is there in Haveri district only. Uh, the scene of uh, chillies market in uh, Haveri. Just you buy chillies. Convert into a chili powder, create your own brand, you can become a uh, successful entrepreneur. Kalburgi, it is again chilies. Um, you forget about other crops. Kodago coffee, cardamom, pepper. Kolar, uh, it is mango, vegetables uh, like tomato. Copal, pomegranate, mandia, uh, tender coconut is the major horticulture crop. Jaggery, uh, that is out of your purview, tender coconut is the major one. Mysore, it is tobacco, turmeric, vegetables, is good from Bunsor. This ginger on the highways from uh, Kunsur to Priyapatna. See, they are getting it prepared to send it to Mumbai. Think whether you can enter into ginger uh, trading. Rice or cotton and paddy, less go for horticulture crops as and now. Uh, Ramnagar, it is mango coconut. Shimoga, arcanet, uh, mainly arcanet. Tumpur, it is uh, coconut, vegetables, and pomegranate. Udupi, arcanet, coconut, cashew nut. Uttarakhanda, same. Vijayapura, grapes, pomegranate, lemon, particularly Indian lemon. Yadgiri, it is. Uh, no horticulture crops. Just a small case study. Mahiko head. Dr. B. R. Barwale. Okay, a case study. How a layman, 10th standard educated, is the owner of Mahiko Seed Company. He was given honorary doctorate. You are more superior, more potential than Barwale. You can create better companies than Mahiko. Look at how it uh, started with horticulture. He is uh, Dr. B.R. Barwale, 1931 to 2017. He is the chairman and founder of Maharashtra Hybrid Seed Company. He received Padma Bhushan Award. He had a castrol and vermashel engine oil agency at Jalna in Maharashtra. 
it's a cotton growing uh, area once he visited iri in delhi for a field day exhibition he brought uh, some seeds of bending ladies fingers okay just he brought some seeds he is grown in this field he is basically businessman dealing with petrol so he purchased that particular uh, variety uh, called high yielding as well as resistant uh, fusa savani bendy seeds he purchased which is resistant for mosaic virus uh, disease after uh, buying those seeds in the exhibition he came to jalna with the 2 kg of seeds as sown in uh, is feel craft has come up so well he invited a great breeder of fruits and sorry, vegetables in india arbhajan singh he visited that plant advised barwale not to sell this bendi for uh, consumption rather extract the seed and he will get the market for that see that is the beginning of mahiko seeds he brought for the sake of cultivation of uh, bendi he has grown the crop so well harbhajan singh visited this plant certified as the best quality seed and that is the origin of mahiko from the day one he never looked back mahiko seed company has grown from that small initiative so harbhajan singh advised barwale to allow the fruits to ripen sufficiently and collect the seeds for sale advice what triggered the transformation of an indian oil dealer who came from a traditional marwadi family of cloth merchants to a seed entrepreneur converted and is he founded mahiko seed company and he is called as father of indian seed industry a petroleum dealer became the father of indian seed industry like uh, our father of pottery industry bv rao it's small humble beginning so basically due to efforts developed a strong seed pipeline in india he established mahiko in 1964 and became a dayan of the seed industry in india so you need to create a typical business plan so nothing to do with horticulture but it is very inspiring id idli dosa have you seen maybe uh, you, you don't enter the kitchen your mommy will prepare the dosa idli you will eat it you go to the urban areas uh, id idli dosa batter is very very famous particularly lazy women and working uh, husband wife working uh, idli dosa batter a case study probably have seen this brand a private limited company was founded in 2005 by mustafa from wynad area in kerala he is the youngster maybe a few years uh, older than you he is the founder of that company now his background born in a remote village in kerala he could not afford to pay the fees to the school he dropped out from the school one of his teacher motivated brought him back paid the fees on his behalf continued his education his father was a daily wage worker he was not well educated he wanted to give good education to his uh, son 
Mustafa says he wanted to decide to drop out of the school after failing class 6. He failed in 6th standard. He wanted to go back and join his father as a daily wage worker. So, intervention of his teacher that helped Mustafa return to the school. Move that would eventually help the farm worker's son uh, land a well paying job. Later, he started a fresh food company that is today one of the most successful of its kind in the country. Uh, Mustafa is the CEO of ID Fresh Food. But his teacher convinced him to return to the school and even tutored him free of charge. So he topped his class after joining back. He topped his class. Encouraged by this, he went to become the school topper. And the time came for him to go to college. His teacher paid his fees. Despite having well-paying job, he joined one of the best-paying job. He wanted to start his own business. The idea of fresh food came about when Mustafa Kazin saw a supplier selling idli dosa batter in flying pouch. Mokshani Vangli Alli, Mane in the Tagod Bandho, Akki Matte Bele and Mixmadi Neeral Nenspit in there, Allo Akbitto, Adana Grind Marskot Bartar. By looking at that, he got that innovative business idea. Why can't I can make a brand like this? I can prepare in bulk and sell. So this way, he got that idea, inspired by that idea. He started a quality product with the help of his uh, uh, relatives, a quality batter. Initially, Mustafa invested 50,000 rupees. How much you spend for a year? All your hostel expenses, fees and everything, approximately. Your dress, food, everything. How much? Approximately 1 lakh for a year. So you started is lesser than 50,000 rupees. Now it is worth 1,000 crores. He has invested 50,000 uh, rupees in a company along with his cousins. These are his cousins. He was working in uh, uh, a company outside India, they started, don't think business is a bed of roses, it's a bed of thorns. It's not an easy job. As already indicated, 90% of the startups will fail within two years. Only 10% will survive. What is required is hard work and good homework. So, they could not succeed in the business and finally, almost it was in the verge of closure. He resigned his job, he came back, joined the company, even 25 employees were there. He could not pay wages to them. Somehow to motivate, he offered partnership in the company, shares, allotted shares. Employees were laughing at him. And the company is thinking, what uh, partnership will give to this company? And the last argument, Mulugo Tarento, our salary could have given a share to good in the day or not tied in the company, and Mucho Taden and the share could have a summer for it. That was the situation. So now it is 2000 crores company. Today it is 2000 crores company. Very recently, Azim Premzi of Ipro has invested 507 crores as a partner. It uh, means once it was in the verge of closure, it is 2000 rupees crores company. Azim Premzi invested money in it. Finally, the team fulfilled the promise they made to their employees. All of them now millionaires because shares he has allotted, you know. Uh, in 2018, Mustafa invited to speak at Harvard and Harvard Business School in uh, America. 
the best business schools in the world are Harvard and Stanford. By virtue of his successful uh, enterprise ID, he was invited to Harvard School to explain his case study. He thank, uh, during that uh, talk delivery, he thanked his father and his teacher who paid fees and motivated him. While coming back to India, the teacher was no more. So he felt very sorry. For his success, his teacher was responsible, but while coming back from America, he could not see his teacher. The first teacher who did not let me give up and then of my father, who still works in his farm. His father still works in the farm in Wayanad. So these are the words told by Mustafa. So he could not share his success with his childhood teacher because he is no more. So, success comes to the brave. Ups and downs will be there in the business. Only your hard work can get you to the uh, <coughs> top of the business. And Big Basket is the latest uh, success uh, online digital marketing. He is the founder. Very recently, this Big Basket was taken over by which group? Tata, Tata to you and is purchased by Tata. Big basket is taken over by Tata. This is the end of my presentation. Any questions? Few questions you can Responding or talking, I want to bore them again after lunch. <laughs> <laughs>